In the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the Palestinian economy has been hit hard. Unemployment in the West Bank and Gaza hovers around 50 percent, and reliance upon international aid is heavy. Tubas village in the West Bank is no exception. It's an agricultural town, where families of six get by on an average 700 U.S. dollars per month. Olive crops are the main source of income here. If it's a good season, there's profit. If not, locals have to tighten belts. Last year, they harvested only 5,000 tons of olives in this area. This year, they expect to bring in five times that amount. Here in the fields, farmers are using old world techniques, picking by hand, pulling in family members to help out at picking time. But appearances are deceptive. These farmers are growing organic olives to produce extra virgin oil, and they're using terms like free radicals and antioxidants, all in the hopes of finding a bold and strong niche market. The olive oil industry accounts for 10 percent of the Palestinian export market, and continuing to capitalize on the product is a boon to the local economy. Since we started working with organic material, we feel much better quality and can demand higher prices. I can see the improved quality with my own eyes, and I can get a better price. In an effort to boost the economy, foreign NGOs are teaching the farmers techniques for growing and pressing better quality oil. And they're learning marketing strategies for exporting their unique brand of oil to Europe, Asia, and the U.S. Palestinian exporters target the upscale buyer's market, and since improving production and marketing techniques a few seasons ago, growth is steadily rising by several percentage points each year. Local economists say the farmers' efforts to form cooperatives and combined forces can further strengthen their visibility and profit take in foreign markets. We are doing now training courses for them in capacity building, how to finance, how to write, how to cooperate with another cooperative, even outside, even inside. We are now in the beginning. But one factor farmers and marketing experts can't control is political uncertainty. Foreign investors shy away from large-scale purchase of Palestinian olive oil because of the region's instability. They fear they won't receive goods if there is turmoil on the ground. So locals continue harvesting, branding, and marketing their product, at the same time hoping for the stability that will heighten their selling potential, increase profits, and provide economic relief. For CCTV, this is Stephanie Freed in the West Bank village of Tubas.